Hi guys, a very warm good evening to yourselves and welcome to the channel for tonight's flight where we're going to be in Miami and we're flying with Delta Airlines in the uh, 757-200 and we're going to be taking our uh, route down to Key West so it should be a nice uh, early morning arrival and uh, flight time just around an uh, hour so should be a very quick flight nice back in the States with the 757 it's been nice to get away from the uh, Zebo for a little while now I've had time to uh, really get stuck into this uh, aircraft this will be the new uh, Zebo once we get going with all the procedures so don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments down below you can also view this video in uh, 4k as well if you've got google don't chrome to like and subscribe to the video guys as now we can get into the cockpit and start the aircraft up Okay, so we're in the 757-200 now, so what we can do is we've got our battery on, we'll standby power to auto, we'll put our external power on, we'll turn our bus tires with our utility bus and our generator controls. Now what we can do is we'll turn our dome on for now. After that we'll go ahead and align the IRSs and we'll turn the uh, electronic engine controls on. After that we'll turn on our electrics hydraulics. From there we'll then start the APU, we'll put our emergency lights to arm, we'll turn on the engine limiters and put on one pump for the APU. Get our window heat on, after that we'll then turn on our no smoking and seat belts. We'll put our auto rate to auto and auto 1. Elevation down in Key West is 3 foot so put that to 0 as we won't be needing it. There we go, that's fine. Then we'll go ahead and sort out the cabins. Put them to auto. Turn on our trim air with our research. Turn the packs on with the isolation valve. Get the APU gen ready for when the APU comes on. There's the IRS So on. now we've got the IRS aligned, we've got the APU on, so we can turn the APU on with the engine bleeds. After that we'll check our temperature, so 21 which is fine, the IRSs are now ready so we'll go in and get our positioning. What we do, let's uh, light up the panel lights, I'll leave them down for dark for now, and there we go, we'll just turn it on a little bit, and we'll keep the map on. So we'll go in and get our positioning, which is Kilo Mike India Alpha, shove that in. And there's our displays. We can also set that to map. There we go. So if we go in and get our route, so we're going from Miami, coming out of runway uh, 27, and our destination is Kilo Echo Yankee Whiskey. And then uh, when we go into our departure, for our departure out of runway 27, we're going to take the Animate 2. So go and get runway 27 and we'll get the MA2 which is on our SID coming out of the airport and then from there as it is literally quick we're then going to go direct to Janka as I've got on the uh, charts but for the RNAV approach that we're going to come in for today the runway 27 we're going to go to Carnell. So we're going to our route and then we want to go to Carnu. And then from Carnu, we're then going to go to Giselle. That'll be the start of our initial approach fix. We're coming for the arrival. We're going to take the RNAV into 27 and transition. There we go at Carnu. So that'll all be in there. 
we look down at Carnu, and then we'll go from Giselle, which will be our initial approach fix, then we'll make that right turn through Burpee, Casey, and then we'll be straight aligned for runway 27, so pretty straightforward. Really, it should be a really nice flight today, it'll be an early morning arrival, so we'll go in and get all of our weight. Okay, so we'll get to our perf now, so we'll put in our reserves, we'll just say we've got reserve of 1, Cost index of 35, we're going for a flight level of 200. On takeoff, we're going to do a flaps 5. Turn on our speed, so we've got 139, a 145, and a 151, so nice and quick today. We'll bug the altitude on the MCP, so there's 20,000. Flight directors are on, and the heading running out of 27 is 273. Okay, that's checked. Flight directors are on. Alarm the auto throttle. Everything's fine there. Pre flights are complete. So, we've ran off. We can turn on our yaw dampers now. Everything else is uh, pretty much all set to go. Have a little look down here. Everything's all good. So, what we can do now is we can start to dome out the cockpit. Enough so you guys can see the altitude readings. There we go. We'll leave it as that. Right, we'll do one more. There we go. Okay, so what we can do now is we'll uh, get the Q&H's and then we'll call the tug. On the cockpit, client acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. Ground to cockpit. Toe is driving up. Okay, so we've got a warning on the system for the doors, so we'll turn that off. Q&H's is 1014. So we'll change all of them over, and we change the back on one, which is set. We'll do brake set to RTO. We're all good to uh, come out now. So we'll turn out our weather. Make sure it works quick. I don't think there's much in the area. Everything seems to be fine anyway. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Ready to connect. Okay, so weather's working fine. Turn off our packs. Get on our fuel pumps. And we are now all set, ready to go. So, we turn on our anti collisions and we'll keep our strobes on. Starts can go for both. And now what we'll do is release the parking brake. Starting pushback, and you may start engines. Okay, thank you very much. So we'll go ahead and start engine number two. Okay, so engine number two coming to life. Okay, so we can switch number two to run, and we'll go over now, and we'll do engine number one. Okay, engine number one coming to life now. Okay, so engine number one now has come to life, we can turn that over. Go over onto our overhead now, so we'll turn our packs to auto, turn the APU off with the APU bleed. Everything else is fine overhead, no warnings. Operation complete, set parking brake. Okay. Parking brake is set. Disconnecting tow, stand by.
So what we'll do now is we'll do our systems checks. So we've got full left, full right, full forwards, full backwards, rudder left, and rudder right. Okay, so it's clear to go. Okay, so we're all ready to uh, go now. Always disconnected, on bypass then has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a safe flight. Okay, thank you very much, Sisu. So we're all ready to go now. We've done our systems checks. We'll drop our flaps five. Runway 27 is right in front of us. We was meant to go from runway 30 when I looked at the charts, but it's probably because I was thinking of uh, Key West. But anywho, runway 27 is right in front, so we come out of the uh, Julia. We will uh, turn a right, and then 27 is literally right there. So our checks and everything are complete. Packs are back on, APU's off, so we're all set to uh, get out. Temperature's nice, so that's something that we haven't got to worry about as well as we get out. So. What we can do as well is we'll turn on our dome lights a little bit. There we go. And we're going to turn our runway turn offs on just because we want to be able to uh, see. So, lock the flight door. Everything's all good to go. Right, so there's, there's the runway literally right there. So, everything's all good. So, we'll release the brakes and we'll start to power up to runway 27. So at the moment it is, it says it's half ten on the clock, it is actually, uh, should be light. So we're going down Quebec, we're going to run to uh, Quebec 8, if uh, any of the uh, guys don't want to get sucked in by the engines. So there's Cuba 8. Okay, so we'll enter off the hold, and what we'll also do is we'll put on our position lights. There we go. Okay, so here's runway 27. Very quick. So we'll go line up now. Okay, so here we are. Reset our views. There's the aircraft will stop. There we go. So let's go and turn our landing lights on. Turn our logo as well. 
Everything here is set. We'll arm the L nav and B nav now. The L nav won't engage because we didn't actually put a SID in. So we've got everything all here. That's just uh, telling lies. Right. So we'll run off of the uh, runway heading. So what we can do is we'll start the clock and release the brake. Go 45 percent. Stabilize and toga. Airspeed alive. A little bit of wind to the right. 80 knots. Check throttle hold. Five hundred feet we made the left turn. V one rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Okay. Five hundred feet, we then make the uh, left turn. So we're going to that left turn now. Still climbing through. Here we go to flaps one. Yeah, we'll do flaps up. It breaks off. Okay, and we're we'll going into a club. Just out of view. Okay, now the owner can go on. And we'll put our VNAV on as well. And we're we'll coming to that left turn. Passing 5,000 feet now. The aircraft is quite heavy today, I keep forgetting. So we just re established back with the LNAV as we make our slow, slow ascent up. Just get back onto course. Auto brakes are off. Passing through seven thousand now, just for two three zero knots. Okay, and there we are, bang on. our nose just a little bit so we trim down just a little to allow the aircraft to start gaining momentum so as we follow the uh, path now there's a 24 miles away now we're going to be staying at 240 and if we have a little look out let's check the weather and what we can also do is just have a look at that. So we've got up to 250 now. Now we've passed 10,000 feet. What we can do is we'll turn our landing lights off. We'll turn off our runway turn offs. Everything else can stay as they are. So we're making our descent now as a climb up to 300 knots 
and we are right bang on profile so what we can do now is we can activate the autopilot now the aircraft has full control okay so if we have a look I'll show you the plan that we're going to take when we come down as we're going to transition off at Carnu which basically is the last fix from our initial approach fix at Kazel. so if I uh, take you guys in basically there we go let's fit that all in okay so where we are we're going to be uh, heading towards Fennel as you can see once we come down from Fennel and then we get to the end of our uh, SID which was the M8 which is right there that is where our uh, top of descent is going to start we make that right turn towards Carnu come down on a left for that right to Gazelle and then that is literally dead straight all the way literally to runway 27 so it's a pretty straightforward route in today and there you can see is our top of descent pretty quite straightforward so what we'll do is guys we'll uh, do our takeoff cinemax now as we're going to be right near our top of descent ready to come in so don't forget to like and subscribe leave your comments down below and i'll see you guys all when we get back for our top of descent and what we can do is we turn on the engine out of the ice under 10 degrees so i'll see you guys in a minute
Hi guys, welcome back to the flight deck. Right now, we are uh, literally just about to make our uh, top of descent as we are there. So we can pop that down to 1500 feet, which is where we're going to come. Don't worry about the uh, displays, that's from uh, doing the cinematics when I came back to uh, fly the top of descent. It's uh, probably some of the warnings, probably it doesn't like being put to replay mode to get the cinematics but anywho so we're going to do a auto break of number three we're going to be uh, intercepting the ILS for 1500 feet not the ILS but we'll be coming down on the RNAV from 1500 our initial rev do a 135 flaps 30 so flaps 30 dash 135 which is set as you can see now Clouds, uh, we've got some nice clouds, we're using the real time weather. So yeah, as the displays, don't worry about that, That's uh, everything's running as fine. And as normal, we've even got the Le Slat disagree, but everything will come up when we uh, get down. It's the only way to get the uh, replay with the cinematics to get the uh, sounds working as well. So we're at 250 now, uh, we should have gone into our uh, top of descent. So we'll tell it we want to descend now. Doesn't want to, well then we'll just have to uh we have on there we go. Okay, so and what we can do is we can say that we want two five zero That'll keep us nice and steady on the inbound. So we should be uh, should be in for a nice approach today. As we've made our descent now from 20,000 feet, so we'll get the aircraft all prepared and set up as well. Okay, so we're just coming through 17,000 feet now. Going to uh, start our descent from 1,500 at Burpee, which will be our initial fix, and our initial approach will be Giselle as we come in. So if we take a look, there's our uh, left turn at Carnu, and then there's Giselle to that right as well. So we're all ready to uh, come in. We'll go and get the uh, Q and H's. So the Q and H's is a one zero one five. One thing I did forget was to go back to standard. So one zero one five, which is all set on either side. Hold a two five zero now as we are 25 miles or so what we could do is could tell the FMC as we are still coming down we can go to 280 decision altitude is going to be 203 so we'll leave that for barrow so we don't need to touch it. It's pretty straightforward with the 757. Some things are less manual than the 737 which is nice uh, so it's not too bad. We have a look in on our route on our initial. So we've got flaps 30 at 135. By the time we get to Carnu we'll be passing 10,000 feet. Okay, so what we can do is our descent checklist, we can turn our engine starts to continuous under 10,000 feet. Turn on our landing lights, etc. And then we can get out approaching as we're coming in for the RNAV. So we'll intercept on the 276. Currently 47 miles out from the airport, we're going to make a left turn and a right. 
which will then bring us down 240 till we get to Key West and then it will slow to 170 get the flaps down and uh, then come in we're going to be intercepting her for uh, 1500 feet is when we start to come down on the glide slope of the vertical profile and just slowing now to 240 passing 11,000 feet 10,000 will show on our landing lights get the aircraft all configured ready to come ground speed 264 at the moment and temperature is 13 degrees which is fine so the aircraft's perfectly stable right now at this moment in time Oops up the uh, VOR for Key West which is 113.50 with 276 course uh, that you can see is the uh, real time weather as it's probably just reloading so we're about to hit Kanu as you can see and if we have a look on the chart, so 1500 feet from uh, Kilo Echo Yankee Charlie Yankee, that's where we'll start coming down on a three degree glide path. Touchdown is three, we're going to be uh, using a 460 decision height or decision altitude for runway 27. So we'll set up in just a sec once the aircraft levels off. We're through 9,000 feet now, so we'll go ahead and put our runway turn offs, landing lights can go on. to the one seven six. Okay. Clouds are nice and uh, clear at the moment. Through nine thousand. Still holding 240, which we will all the way through our approach by the time we pass at Burpee. And then once we get to the uh, key Charlie Yankee, that's when uh, we we'll slow to 170. So 37 miles out, 22 miles away from Giselle. Currently descending through 8,500 feet for that lovely morning arrival with Delta Airlines. So we've got a little bit of wind. Realign the aircraft's view. Okay, so we can uh, get going with our approach, so we can pass a bit of time. So, so if we go down to our checklist, we have got our engine start switches which are continuous, which is checked, the landing lights under 10,000 feet which are all on and checked. After that we've got our altimeter setting which is a 1015 which is cross checked on all three with the backup which is checked. After that we've got altitude for the approach for the RNAV onto 27 so we'll go down to 1500 feet for our initial approach fix and then from the final approach fix then we'll slow it down to our uh, minimums which is 460 which is something that we can set up now. 
So there's 320, 460. We'll go over to the other side as well and we'll set that in as well. So there's 460. We'll round that off to 500. So that way we won't go under. 500 set, which is checked. After that, we've got our ILS course frequency. So we're using the R now, we're coming down, we've got the VOR set for the 113.50 and the 276 course to intercept when we come in. And what we're going to do is we're just going to leave it like that for now. And then uh, we can fire that in from there once we come down. So we'll divert down onto the 286 then get it all set up ready to go. So we're all uh, set to come in. We pass down through Giselle will be the 177 into the 159, 259. Okay, so after that we've got our V card approach speed ref which is a flaps 30 at 135 and our minimums is a 460 for a four six three around that because obviously we're doing the R now. So just passing six thousand feet now, right near Giselle ready to come in for the runway so we're approximately five miles away and we'll fire in see what the weather's saying the amber glow coming through the cockpit ready for us to come in so once we make this right turn then we will have the airports in sight for when we come 30 miles away uh, we'll start to definitely go towards the airport 24 degrees currently Let's pass it 5,000 feet now. And if we look at our view are. Okay, so we don't really even need the uh, the heading as of such. But what we can do is use the VOR to know exactly whereabouts we are. So we are currently 28 miles away now. Just approaching near to Burpee. So there's the airport from distance. Approaching 4,000 feet. Let the VNAV profile take control. See exactly what it does. See if it goes down to 170 by the time we get to our uh, final approach fix, which is where we're going to basically then start the descent. So if we're not happy, we do a go around. But it's clear, early morning, so it should be quite nice. So 
So that will reset our views. Can arm the speed brake. There we go. Now we'll see if that goes in. No. Still going in for the 108. So the airport's just ahead now. There's a the runway ready to come in. And we're getting right near to Burpee. So, right now we're on the 258. And we'll go to the 276. And we'll slow to 170. And then disconnect just before we uh, get down. So our Tim's is set 1015, which is cross checked. We've got auto brake set number three. We've got the 1500 for our final approach fix. And then we'll go down to 500. Once we've done that, the aircraft's now coming down to 1,500 now, as we need to be above. And then once we pass Burpee, we'll get to KC and then uh, slow to 170. Okay, so there we go. Runs in sight, sliding down now to 170. Puts me six miles from Casey. Following the VNAV profile for our speed. And the aircraft, uh, airport is right in front of us, from me 27. So just coming down through our flap settings now. So we'll draw out flaps one. Now we'll draw out flaps five. So we are at 1500 now. By the time we get to KC, so what we can do is we can lower our uh, decision altitude now. So the aircraft will allow us to uh, descend down when we pass KC. Now the aircraft's going to start slowing itself down. Go to a flaps 20. And we go gear down. Okay, what we'll do is we'll also disconnect. Okay. So, I have control of the aircraft now. 25 1000 and flaps 30 
Still a little bit too uh, too high, so it will come down just a little. Brakes are armed. And we'll Minimum. continue. Put all to brake to max. One hundred, fifty, forty, thirty, twenty, ten. Okay. Speed brakes are up. Camera bursts are active. Okay. Reverses back in. Brakes are off. And there we are guys, down in our flight for the evening. So turn the auto brakes off. Thought yet yeah, I changed the uh, auto brake as uh, M3 definitely wasn't going to do it. So we'll turn the spook brakes back in. Oh it's got the autopilot on. So now we'll go in taxi ready to come off. And on our charts to come off, we have the Bravo that we're going to depart from. And we'll start to retract our flaps. So, speed brakes fully retracted. Okay, so we'll wait till we get round the bend, then we'll uh, turn off our strobes and landing lights. Okay, there we go. Okay, so what we can do is we'll turn off our uh, strobes, we'll turn off our runway turn offs, if we can get it to turn off, there we go, and our landing lights can go off. Got the C bus to auto now. And what we can also do is start the APU, ready? Okay, so don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, as now it's time for our landing cinematics and our.